Live from the virtual Super BRV show, it's the Red Carpet Arrival Show. The stars of the show are about to arrive, and we want to give you a quick glance at the excitement and fan approval as the stars come down the red carpet. Hey, Marty, the air is filled with anticipation as the first star is coming into view. Ooh. It's the 2020 Storyteller Overland Mode 4x4, outfitted in a stunning white exterior with retro graphics. Ooh, very on trend for 2020, Rod. And look at this, the 2020 Winnebago Truvado. It's definitely a head turner in Patriot Blue. Listen to the crowd roar of approval. Way to go, Truvado. And look here, oh. entering your screen right now is the Winnebago Rebel. Mmm, Rebel, you look dashing in that pebble gray exterior. <laughs> I'm just guessing, but I think you like that one. Now, all the way from Winkler, Manitoba, our neighbors to the north at Leisure Travel present this year's Unity. Oh. Smartly sporting a denim paint combination and Durabrite aluminum wheels. That's a head turner. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Unity is showing a bit of slide. How daring. <laughs> yes, it is. Another Canadian export comes from Pleasure Way via the On Tour 2.2. And Rod, we're told that On Tour 2.2 is showing up in a beautiful magnetic gray paint scheme. Following quickly behind On Tour 2.2 is the Lexor FL, also from Pleasure Way. Give us a honk, Lexor FL, as you stroll by in your brilliant silver metallic shell. Wow. Can anyone top this, Marty? Mm. I don't know if I've ever seen such a lineup. This is a fantastic show. All of these Class B motorhomes are winners. Sauntering down the lane now comes Tofino from Pleasure Way. This loft extension product is elegantly outfitted in brilliant silver metallic. Wow, those Canadians are showing up in force today as we catch a glimpse of the leisure travel wonder. Wow, that is really nice. Wonder is dressed in denim paint tonight. I'm told the look is so continental. And the Ford Transit chassis carries the wonder so well. And now, here comes a bold new entrant from Winnebago, the all-new Bolt, oh. outfitted with the Pure 3 Volta power system. Bolt is showing the cool, crisp, arctic white color this year. It's stunning. Stunning it is, Marty. Hey, now our Southern Belle is here. It's Tiffin's Wayfarer. It, it, okay, yeah, my producer just now is telling me that the Tiffin has outfitted the Wayfarer in an imperial paint scheme. Folks, the excitement is building as the all-new Ford Tolaro makes its way down the red carpet. The all-new design is sporting charcoal and also comes with a loft extension feature. Oh, it's a Hemsworth in an RV. I think that means you liked it. Well, we'll hope to see more of the Tolaro later this week. And now, Marty, we reach the end of the runway show as the Pleasure Way Ascent has arrived. And everything is looking up. Oh, we see that Ascent is also sporting charcoal. This seems to be the on-trend color of the evening. Well, there you go. All the parties have arrived. And we can't wait for the virtual Super B show to get underway. Thanks for joining the Red Carpet Arrival Show at the virtual Super B RV show. Ford Motor Company makes, makes a lot of chassis for C-Series, for, for Class C motorhomes. Um, it's probably fair to say they just about own the market. They also own most of the market for the gasoline chassis using Class A motorhomes. Um, 
And now Ford is working to expand into the Class B market, which is centered around vans, using the, the walls of a van, not a box on the back, and outfitting that for, for people. Ford brings very reliable chassis and a very wide service network. Uh, especially compared to the main competitor in the Class B market. Ford chassis are, for the most part, built, designed around the best-selling pickup truck chassis in the country, the F-150, which has sold more than anybody else for about 32 or 33 years. They take the technology, what they've learned from building those truck chassis and making them reliable, and apply that to motorhomes, the motorhome chassis, and, and be able to build things off of that. So with the three engines we have, the customer can get what he wants. If he wants a real fuel-efficient gasoline engine, he can do it. If he wants maximum torque and power, there's a gasoline engine for that. If he wants a diesel with a respectable amount of torque, he can get that. And from our perspective, what we're trying to do is offer the customer what he wants to get. Hi guys, this is Barry Nellums coming to you from La Mesa RV here in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. And today I'm going to talk to you about the all new 2020 Pleasure Way On Tour 2.2. First of all, I'd like to let everyone know that we're following all the CDC guidelines. I'm the only one in this coach. I'm the only one that's going to be talking about this unit. As you can see, I've got gloves on my hands and we, uh, we want to make sure that you and your family are safe. We want to make sure that uh, all of your questions are answered from the comfort of your own home. And uh, we want to make sure we get you all the information that we can as great as possible in the easiest way. So a little bit about Pleasure Way. Pleasure Way, these are built in Saskatoon, Canada. Uh, the company started in 1986. Merv Rumpel started the company and his son Dean Rumpel is the CEO. Uh, you've probably seen him on a lot of their videos and just the construction and how they build these coaches. So they've been in business for over 30 years. They're a family owned company. Uh, that's one big thing that is very, very, very impressive to me in general. Uh, when you break down RV manufacturers and companies and how they're built and uh, so forth. They take a lot of pride in how they build their coaches. They, uh, they don't build very many. Uh, they build six, seven hundred a year. Um, and this new product is, is very, very exciting. And, and I'm going to talk to you about that. Um, one big thing for them is they're all stall built. So instead of going down an assembly line um, where you have, you know, hundreds of coaches going in and out of the facility each day, uh, they have their own cabinet installer. They have their own plumber. They have their own countertop engineer that basically cuts and makes all their own countertops for their coaches. They use CNC routers uh, for each model that they use. And just their fit and finish is really second to none. Um, so that's just some highlights about the company and uh, what they're all about. And uh, so now I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the coach itself and uh, I'm very very excited about this new product here is the 2020 Pleasure Way On Tour 2.2 here we are so Pleasure Way built several different Class B motorhomes uh, they have a very strategic market in that, in that segment but one thing that they're super excited about with this unit right here is they make two floor plans. They have the 2.0 that's just under 20 feet in length and then this is the 2.2 which is 21 feet 10 inches in length. So just under 22 feet overall. This is on a one ton Ford Transit chassis and the 2.0 is on a three quarter ton Ford Transit chassis. This has dual wheels in the back obviously for extra support and weight of the coach. Um, but one big change that they made you know, as the transit chassis used to have the small diesel, these now have the 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6, which, which puts out an impressive 310 horse with 400 foot pounds of torque. Um, that's just impressive. Not only are you still gonna get great fuel mileage, 
uh, but you're going to have so much power, so much torque. But these things are pin quiet too when you drive them. Um, you know, they're not like a traditional RV where you're going to get a bunch of rattles and stuff. I mean, you're still going to get one or here or there. You know, it is a complete RV going down the road, um, you know, with faucets and showers and things like that. But as far as traditional RVs go, uh, you will be very, very impressed if this is a unit that happens to work for you. Uh, one big thing I always like to point out about Pleasure Way is the fact that they have a five-year warranty on their coach um, that's just it's unheard of in the RV industry most RV manufacturers only have a one year you might find one or two out there that have two years but for someone to have a five-year warranty on their coach it just doesn't happen um, in this industry that's how confident they are in their product how they build and just the quality and the quality control that they have building this unit. There's a couple of different colors you can get in this unit. You can get it in silver. You can also get it in the uh, the dark granite gray color. That might not be the exact term of the actual factory color, but this is a dark, like a charcoal gray. It's absolutely beautiful. Just give you a complete walk around on the outside of the unit. love the uh, wheels that they've decided to go with on this unit really makes the unit pop um, they really take a lot of time in the process and the way that they build this is your Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater this is really a game changer in the RV industry all the high-end coaches diesel pushers high-end motorhomes have really gone to this type of technology so with B vans, the challenge was you had a small hot water heater. Now this is basically an on-demand hot water heater that has no tank. It's a tankless hot water heater. How it works is basically you have a one and a half liter tube that basically recirculates the water about as fast as it depletes out of the hot water system. So when you turn on the faucet or the valve, you basically have on-demand virtually endless hot water. So if you're in an RV park, you can take a 30, 35 minute shower. If you're boondocking or dry camping, however much water you have in your holding tank, you can use that and have virtually on demand, instant hot water. Coming around the coach right here, this is your outside propane area where you can hook up, you can refill. This is your generator exhaust for the propane tank. This is your outside power supply source, so when you're hooked up at an RV park, this is your 30 amp service for this coach. This is your LP uh, connect that you basically turn on and off if you want to conserve on your LP. Your city water connect and your uh, cable inlet. Right down here is actually a bump stop, is what they call this, or a stopper for the door so when you open up the door you don't have to worry about the damage to the side of the paint of the coach just another little thing pleasure way really thinks of when they build their coaches all right coming around to the back of the coach this is your tow package so if you have a small car or so forth that you want to tow a little trailer you're all wired up you've got a four-way a seven-way for all your lighting coming around the side here you've got a hundred a couple of hundred and ten power outlets on the side a potable water source an overflow valve for your fresh water tank and so forth and I just love the look of this new coach on the Ford Transit chassis um, Pleasure Way did a phenomenal job on the 2.2 with the one-ton chassis just give you a really nice side view of the unit love the wheel style that they used on this coach big huge windows that they've used in this to give you a lot of light a lot of visibility you've got a power awning outside the coach of course it's all fully electric so it's just one touch of a button it does have a wind sensor or a motion sensor on it as well so if it's windy outside it will go in automatically I always tell my customers if it's really windy don't put your awning out just for safety it'll save you a lot of money 
And one feature that they've done, which is a game changer, on this particular unit, the LED light on the outside of the awning is fully dimmable. So you can dim the light on the actual awning itself on the underside of it. Then just coming up here to the cab area, we're going to talk about some of the features on the inside. Ford did a nice job with the dash, the integration of the uh, infotainment system that they put in this coach. I mean, you've got navigation, you've got Bluetooth capability. Uh, they've given you some of the advanced safety, safety technology features like lane assist, just to name one. One big thing that they've done, a lot of RV manufacturers just use the factory seats that come in the actual chassis. Pleasureway takes all the time to take the seats out. They reupholster the seats. They fully do it in a really nice leather. They repat it. It's very, very, very comfortable when you sit in these seats. Lots of uh, power outlet points there that you can keep your phone charged. Air conditioning, of course, power windows, power locks, cruise control. A lot of features that you would find on some of your nice high-end cars. They've really innovated into the RV segment. Now, I'm six feet tall, and I still have a good, you know, few inches above me as far as room inside the unit. One thing Pleasureway really, really takes pride in is their cabinetry. So they use real hardwood. In the Ontour 2.2, they offer two different colors. They offer the mocha or the blonde. This is the blonde cabinetry. And the one thing that they do is they, they use a laminate finish over their hard surfaces of the cabinetry so it won't scratch, um, you know, from wear and tear and things like that over time. Um, they use real solid Corian countertops in their coaches fire extinguisher right by the door for safety. They use multiplex, which is in all of your high-end diesel pushers and things like that for the most part. Uh, multiplex basically operates all the lighting in this coach. It also operates, get down here so you can see this a little bit better. Um, operates all your lighting. You can see your tank levels, you can turn on the water pump, you can turn on the generator. This unit also comes with an automatic generator start, which is just a great feature that you can set for time, temperature, or battery. So if your batteries get low, you can set it at a certain voltage, the gen will automatically fire up, or if you've got little dogs or pets, or a little cat, you can leave whiskers or Cujo inside the coach, go for a walk or go out to dinner, and uh, if it gets too hot in the unit, the generator will fire up automatically based on the temperature that you set, and uh, be able to turn the AC on and cool the coach down, and then Whiskers or Cujo will be just fine when you get back. <laughs> Their flooring, they use a one-piece vinyl. Now, I will tell you, they use a thick piece of flooring in their coaches. It's not super, super thin like you'll find in a lot of RVs where they use a cheaper material to save money. The other thing is too is a solid Corian. So this is the dark gray. And then they do have a lighter color as well. You've got a full induction cooktop as well. This has got a 2000 watt inverter so you can use your cooktop through the 2000 watt inverter. Stainless steel, huge farmhouse sink. I mean, for this size of coach, it really, really, really is. Here's your hot water system thermostat that you can control your solar panel with go power go power is the uh, brand and then this controls all of your solar tells you what's being charged and so forth as far as your battery levels 
and then your Xantrax 2000 watt inverter switch. I love the materials that they use. They use a really nice valance and it's got a suede type material right here. I love their blinds. You got nice big privacy blinds and the one thing Pleasureway takes a lot of pride in is their windows. Their windows are fantastic. Huge storage right here up above the refrigerator. So this talks a little bit about you know a lot of the standard features as I told you earlier 300 watts of solar on this model two 100 eco ion lithium batteries a Xantrax 2000 watt inverter part of their bed system they use memory foam cushions a base medium density foam that's topped with three inches of memory foam finish with a layer of Dacron so it basically contours to your body when you're sleeping you know, ultra leather fabric, quarry and solid surface countertops, um, front, cab, front cab privacy shades, the roll up screens that I talked to you about. And then I'll touch it again because it's a big, big deal. It's a five year warranty. Nobody else does that in the industry. I'm going to show you some of the storage as well, right through here. And these storages are just, I mean, they're huge. They really, really are for this size of coach, being under 22 feet. This table's pretty darn cool, too, that's back here by the dinette in your bed area. It's on a slide mechanism, so you can move it. Um, but it's easy to set up if you want to have dinner as well. Wardrobe closet, which is right here. Get the camera to turn here the way I want it to. There we go. Huge windows in the back. By your power sofa that turns into a full size bed. Huge windows out the back of the rear doors. sound bar on the TV which one of the best in the industry or the best in my opinion is Bose LG TV I mean Pleasure Way really doesn't cut any corners even with the appliances that they use um, to make this motorhome you know they can control what they can control but a lot of RV manufacturers take shortcuts and buy cheap appliances you know, they don't put sound bars. If they do, they use some off-brand like Sansui or something like that. Not that those are bad brands, but there's an old saying, we get what we pay for in a lot of cases, and LG, Samsung, Bose are some of the top brands when it comes to electronics. Here's another control panel back here, just above the TV in the bedroom area as well, so you can control the unit lighting and so forth you got a five i believe it's a 5.5 cubic foot refrigerator and it's kind of hard to get the whole gist of this because the camera's right here next to me but for a size for this size of coach it has a ton a ton of room and a good good size refrigerator and then Let's take a look at the bathroom as I mentioned earlier one of the biggest beds biggest bathrooms and some of the most largest interior headroom of any coach that they make in the B-class segment You've got a full China toilet which is porcelain so it's so residential it's not a plastic toilet got a huge galley right here actual medicine cabinet in this unit you don't find that in most bees got LED lights you can turn on and off 
you just turn on and off just like this. And this coach is available for sale. We got a lot of special inventory for this Super B Live show. Normally we would be at the State Farm Stadium doing our B show right now. But with the circumstance that's going on, we're trying to make it as convenient to come to you as humanly possible in the comfort of your own home or wherever you might be. Um, we can bring the unit to you. Um, as I said, my name is Barry Nellums. That's Barry Nellums. My email is B as in boy, N E L L U M S at lamesarv.com. That's B as in boy, N is in Norman, E L L U M as in Montana, S is in Sam at lamesarv.com. And here's just a little bit of a display about our show pricing. The MSRP is $135,535. We've discounted this unit $20,585 down to 114950 I think you'll find that that's some of the most competitive pricing on a product like this that you'll find anywhere in the country. Well, this is Barry Nellums. That has been the 2020 Pleasure Way On Tour. Super excited about this product. It's going to be a home run for Pleasure Way, for price point, fit and finish, and everything that this coach has to offer to you with an unprecedented five-year warranty. As I said, I'm Barry Nellums. My email is bnellums at lamesarv.com. If you have any other information and want to contact us, call 833-891-7132. That's 833-891-7132. It's been a pleasure. This is Barry Nellums from La Mesa RV. Good morning. We're coming to you live from La Mesa RV here in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. Going to talk to you today about the all new, and I mean all new Class B van. This is the Pleasure Way On Tour. We are super excited about this product. Uh, they offer two different models, the 2.0 and the 2.2 is the model that I featured last week in our video. Uh, they're both built on a Ford Transit chassis. The 2.0 is built on a 2500 series three quarter ton chassis and the 2.2 that's a little bit longer is built on the one ton transit chassis as well uh, with dual wheels in the back for a little bit more stability. It's a little bit longer. Uh, but we are very, very excited about this product. Uh, Pleasure Way, as you may know, for all of you out there, uh, looking at B vans or even uh, looking for quality. Pleasure Way has been in business since 1986. They're built in Saskatoon, Canada. Uh, so they've been in business for almost, well, a little over 30 years. And, um, you know, one big thing about this uh, company is they, they're stall built coaches. Uh, they're not on an assembly line like a lot of RV manufacturers are. So you've got one cabinet installer, you've got one plumber that, you know, installs all the plumbing. Um, you've got one guy that does all the flooring. So they're very strategic on how they build their RVs and they're really second to none. So um, a lot of things that you get on this unit that are standard, you know, one big thing that they talk about is uh, your two 100 amp hour lithium batteries to really give you a lot of boondocking, dry camping time. Um, you know, the 2.2 comes with a, a huge 5.5 uh, cubic refrigerator. It's a compressor driven fridge that will work off of your inverter. Um, so your lithium batteries will uh, keep, that, uh, keep the batteries charged in the unit uh, very, very well uh, when you're you know, either traveling or when you're boondocking. So one other big thing they talk about is they have a warranty like no one else in the business, a five-year warranty that Pleasure Way gives you where virtually every other manufacturer is one year. Uh, they don't, you know, 
Uh, they really believe in what they build, so they they have the best warranty really in the industry. Um, some of the other standard features that you get on this, you know, uh, satellite radio, um, upgraded AC, uh, 11,000 BTU air conditioner on the roof, as a matter of fact, instead of a small 9,000 um, uh, watt, you know, BTU AC. So that's uh, another big, big thing they talk about. Um, you know, pricing on the unit that I displayed last week, you know, the MSRP uh, is 135535 uh, we have an everyday low price on every unit that we sell. This particular unit, the way it was equipped and the way it was ordered, we've got it priced at $114,950. Um, but you can email me. That's uh, to get you a lot of this information. Uh, my email is bnellums at lamesarv.com. That's B as in boy, N-E-L-L-U-M-S at lamesarv.com. Or you can call 833-891-7132. Um, see if we've got any questions here so far. So the only question we really had was about the pricing of it. Let's see here. One other thing, a lot of the, uh, you know, for all you cookers out there, most RVs have a divider in the sink. Uh, one thing that they really strategic on is they have a really good sized farmhouse sink in this coach, so it's one big sink. So if you're prepping food, washing, things like that, you've got a lot of room and a lot of space to be able to do that. Uh, solar, 300 watts of solar on this coach to keep your batteries charged. Solid surface chlorine countertops. Uh, they use memory foam and all of their furniture so they even upgrade the front seats uh, but they also build and make their own memory foam so it really contours to your body type um, when you're laying back there lots of customers that I've sold these to say it's one of the most comfortable beds they've slept in some have said it's more comfortable than the bed that they have at home so <laughs> um, let's see here biggest thing between the 2.0 and the 2.2 a lot of people want to know the floor plans are very similar, uh, but there's about roughly 18 to 20 inches difference in length um, between the two. Uh, with the 2.2, um, you get uh, you get basically a full wet bath. Where the 2.0, you have a, a, a shower and a sink um, only. So uh, normally we would be doing our Super B show at the State Farm Stadium. Uh, right now, obviously, with everything going on, uh, we're hoping to get back to normal soon, but we want to get you all the information we can at the comfort of your home or wherever you might be uh, to be able to get you as much information as possible. So um, we've really tried to follow every CDC guideline on everything that we've done. Uh, we have sold a lot of these coaches from this virtual bee show that we've done, from all the videos that we've presented and everything that we've done. So, let's see if we have any other questions. I did. Mm hmm. Talked about the manufacturer. Yep. Uh, so, great point. La Mesa RV, just like uh, Pleasure Way. You know, Pleasure Way has been in business for over 30 years. Uh, La Mesa RV has been in business for almost 50 years. So, since 1972, um, you know, we're a family owned company. You know, Mr. Kimbrell, and uh, the way that he started this industry is very strategic. You know, we're not a publicly traded company, not that that's bad, but you know, if we need to call the owner, if we have a situation we need to get a hold of somebody, we can do that. Uh, but we have several stores and several locations uh, to serve you. And uh, he really has a family culture uh, about how he takes care of his customers and his employees. So we, uh, we really take a lot of pride in that. So, you know, through the ups and the downs, no matter what's came along, 
you know, the Mesa RV has been here, is going to be here, and will always be here. So, let's see here. Let's see, Carl, we do have a question from Carl. It is a four-season coach. Yes, with these being built in Canada, they have a little bit of a different, uh, you know, code the way that they're built. So, as we know in Saskatoon, it gets a minus, you know, zero degrees there. So the way they build them for the U.S. is really no different than the way they build them in Canada, uh, just because of their manufacturing, uh, manufacturing aspects and how they build. So they are definitely designed to go to cold climates. Obviously, hopefully you're getting away from that area. Uh, you're going to go somewhere where it's nice. But if you do get into a situation where it's, you know, chilly outside, you're going to be fine. See if we have any other questions. Let's see, we have another question, I believe, on Facebook. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Scroll down here for just a second. Okay, so Jan, we got a question from Jan. Uh, custom features. Um, you know, they don't, there's not really anything in particular custom. You can't really customize the coach. I mean, they offer a couple of different cabinet colors. You know, they'll typically offer at least one to two outside colors. Um, as far as, you know, maybe be a little bit more elaborate, but Pleasure Way builds pretty much the way they build the unit. They're not really a custom RV manufacturer. When they when they put a product out there, they basically build it one way. Um, and you've got some options as far as cabinet colors, Corian countertop colors, things like that. Um, you know, there's a few options that you can get, obviously, like side roller screens um, and so forth. But I would definitely recommend if you're local to come down and see us. Uh, we do have one of these units in stock, um, and I'd be more than happy to show that to you answer any other questions for you that you might have let's see so Colin is on our Facebook live page they just bought an on tour and they say it's one of the greatest coaches they've ever owned and the experience with La Mesa was amazing we sure appreciate you guys letting us know about that Insulation. <clears throat> okay, so we got a question from Diane. So when they get these chassis in, Diane wants to know what kind of insulation is used. So they use a foam insulation. One thing they do is when these chassis come in, they remove all the interior walls, floor, and everything. So when they actually build the unit, they insulate the inner walls of the frame and then they basically put all the panels back together. So you're gonna have a nice insulation from the walls to the roof all the way down to the floor. So a lot of manufacturers don't do that. Um, they just basically build the RV from the inside out uh, before that's taken place. So hopefully that answers your question about the insulation. Jan's got another question. Jan Warner, do the front seats swivel all the way towards the back? Yes, they do. So the two front seats actually swivel around. Does it have a crank? Back windows hate the slider. They use a frameless window. So Kathy has a question about the windows. I would have to verify the back window, but I know the side windows are definitely a frameless window where they crank out. Um, they do not slide, so 
sounds like they build the windows that you uh, you prefer. Let's see if we have any other questions. So another another great feature while we're waiting on more questions, um, they use multiplex wiring. It's one thing I always like to point out that you have two seven inch monitor screens inside the unit that makes the ease of using the coach uh, very helpful, very easy. Um, so when you want to turn your lights on, you have basically one switch or you can individually turn the lights on and off from that panel. You can fire up the generator. You can also uh, use the diagnostic screen um, to go through some different features and things like that. We'd love to show you how all that works in person. So Kathy responded back, awesome on the windows. So, and Kathy, any of you guys, if uh, you have any additional questions or would like to set an appointment to come in and look at this unit, um, I've been to the factory back in Saskatoon. Uh, they, they, they take a lot of pride and how they build these so it's one of my favorite units that we sell here uh, the quality is second to none um, so um, I would love for you to reach out my email is B Nellums that's N E L L U M S at lamesarv.com or you can call 833-891-7132 make sure you ask for Barry Nellums So Jan has another question, Jan Warner. What do you recommend for getting the best TV reception? So the coach comes with a digital antenna. So obviously the best airwave signals based on where you're at is going to give you a, a great antenna signal that way. But obviously if you have a satellite um, installed on the coach, so whether you want direct TV or dish, um, that's going to give you the best signal. Um, an in motion is going to be the best satellite out there just for the fact that it will actually rotate turn uh, to try to find the best signal for you so hopefully that answers your question there Weingard usually um, is a great manufacturer uh, King is also another great manufacturer so those are a couple of manufacturers that we work with See if we've got any other questions. I answered Diane's question on the insulation, Carl's question on the four season aspect. Kathy had a few questions we answered for her and Jan as well. So looks like we don't have any other questions. So Jan responded back, thank you. Jan, please reach out. We'd love to talk to you in person or you can email me. So we will be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time to talk to you about the Winnebago Bolt. And uh, my name is Barry Nellums. Please email me at any point with any questions. bnellums at lamesarv.com. That's B as in boy, N as in Norman, E-L-L-U-M-S at lamesarv.com. Or you can call 833-891-7132 and just ask for me directly. I'd love to help you. Anyway, this is Barry. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks. All right.
It's the hottest trend in RVs. Sleek, maneuverable, mini motorhomes. Fully equipped with standard RV amenities. Compare 10 brands, price to move at Steve. The show moves online. Join us for the virtual Super VRV show going on now.